Welcome to the New Haven Independent V-Log News Summary, direct from our newsroom, otherwise known as my compo teeth, published in the city where we pay politicians and pay them and pay them and pay them and pay them. <laughs> I'm Paula Trout from the New Haven Dependent, reporting live from my Blue Monster bin. Let's see what stories we're working on today. Yale makes a noble gesture and rescues city from bankruptcy by paying property taxes for the next decade in advance. Right, only in your dreams. What else are we working on? The mayor's staff buys a coordinating desk to match his new coat closet at a hefty price tag of only $8,000. And a chair for $1,000, a bookshelf for $3,000, a couch for $7,000, and some really great artwork for only $500,000. The city of New Haven finally releases its financial budget. You can get copies for $1 a page down at Town Hall. That only adds up to $700 for the report. Let's see if New Haven can decipher this poppy. A new program kills two birds with one stone. The New Haven PD will now be hiring officers from its from the new re-entry program. And their new slogan will be, it takes a criminal to catch one. Bumper stickers are available through Joe Avery. What else are we working on? We have finally done it. West Rock has sold for $1 to the Justice League for their new underground headquarters. Unfortunately, yes, they have applied for nonprofit status. The BOE puts their sex ed program on hold. Teachers say that they want more training. City staffers have opened a gift shop in hopes of generating revenue. Unfortunately, the program is $50,000 in the red. One staffer was reported saying they thought the shirts would fly off the shelves. If anyone's interested, there's a 70% discount this week. These are some samples of it. New Haven police have begun a campaign. They have vowed to run down jaywalkers. And the Q Bridge is still held up by red tape. And a typhoon has ripped through Grove Street Cemetery, hundreds dead. And uh, an update on the Hartford budget. REL has won the Charter Oak plan, but more lies ahead. The Joint Committee has investigated marijuana uses. As for the housing for elderly, not dead yet. This just in. A memo has been going around town hall warning that the ID card is attracting a new group of aliens. In this memo, there are suggested tips on how to protect yourself, which I am going to heed warning to. And that's it for today, and always remember to pick up your trash.